Hi guys, it's Lara here from All Points North Lodge. I am here for a quick yoga break. So this one, we're gonna move a little bit. Um, do a little bit of flowing here. It'll be, still be short and sweet. So I want you to go ahead and come right up to standing. So hopefully you have a mat for this or comfortable space on the floor. If you have blocks, great. If not, great too. So start off at the top of your mat. Feet are planted firmly on the floor. Take your palms together and take your thumbs to your heart center. If it's comfortable, close your eyes and take a moment to breathe. Feel the feet root you down into the earth. And feel the crown of the head lengthen up towards the sky. And as you lengthen up, let the shoulders relax. And take a deep breath in. And let it go. Let the eyes flicker open. And as you inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Take your hands onto your shins. Inhale, take a halfway lift. So lengthening out through the ribs. And then as you exhale, plant your hands and step back into a high plank. Pull the core back in and take an inhale. As you exhale, take your knees to the floor. You're going to lower down through a modified chaturanga. So you're going to bend the elbows, squeeze the elbows in towards the sides. The belly and the chest come to the floor at the same time. Hands come out in front of your shoulders. Inhale, lift up into a baby cobra. Stay here through the exhale. Take a breath in. Exhale, pull the floor back towards you to lower down. You can shake the hips out as you go. Hands come up by your sides. Make your way into downward facing dog. Stay here. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. One more inhale. And exhale. Stay empty, bend your knees, look to your hands. And you can step to the top of your mat. Once you're there, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And hang out here in your forward fold. So we're gonna stay in a ragdoll. So your knees are bent, hands can be around your biceps or for a little added spinal traction. You'll take your pinkies to the base of your skull and interlace your hands around the back of your neck. So you want to not pull on your neck, just allowing the weight of your arms and gravity to so let everything hang towards the floor, tractioning out the spine. And then take your hands down, shake the head out like you're saying yes, and then no. Bring your hands onto your hips, press through the feet. As you inhale, come all the way up to standing, arms reach up towards the sky. And exhale, hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. One more sun A, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the ribs. As you exhale, plant the hands, step back into high plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Knees can be lifted or lowered. And then inhale, baby cobra or full up dog. Exhale, take it back to downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath. Deep breath in. Let it go. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look to your hands. Step, walk, or jump. Top of your mat. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Root down. Rise all the way up to standing. Arms reach. And exhale. Hands to your heart. Again, root down through the feet, lengthen up through the crown of the head. One more round of breath in. Let it go. We'll do a round of classic sun with lunges. So as you inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Set the left foot back, take the knee down, and as you inhale, sweep the arms up and back. 
stay here through the exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck the back toes under, step back into high plank and vinyasa. So chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and then back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. Let it go. Step the left foot forward between the hands, back knee lowers, inhale, sweep the arms up and back. Exhale to stay. One more breath in. And exhale, plant your hands, step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Press down through the feet, inhale, rise all the way up to standing arms reach. Exhale, hands to your heart. Deep breath in. Let it go. This time, interlace your hands behind your low back. If that's not comfortable, just grab a hold of opposite elbows. You're gonna press the knuckles down towards the floor, left up through the chest. Take an inhale. Soften the knees, and as you exhale, come into a fold. Head and neck relaxed. Knuckles are pressing up towards the sky. And then bend the elbows, take the hands to your low back, release the clasp. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, so take it back. You can always just opt to step back to down dog or flow through a full vinyasa. So plank, chaturanga, up dog, moving with your breath, downward dog. And then from here, reach the right leg up towards the sky. Pull the knee in towards your nose. Plant the foot between your hands. So we're coming into a runner's lunge. I really like to use blocks here. You can just take your fingertips to the floor if you don't have any. And then, so runner's lunge. First off, front knee is right above the ankle. Back knee is lifted up off of the floor. You're gonna lengthen your chest forward and then just find some movement. Do whatever feels comfortable in your body whatever happens naturally and organically, moving the hips around. Front knee can straighten out or back knee can lower down. And then settle back into it. So the back leg is straight, you're pressing through the heel, pulling in all the muscles in towards the bones. And then left hand stays down, right arm reaches up for a twist. Feel the right hip pulling back. Take an inhale, exhale, unwind. Just move the blocks over a little bit, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, let it go. Other side, left leg lifts up towards the sky. Pull the knee in towards your nose and plant the foot between your hands and get set up. So blocks or up on your fingertips and then find some movement. Shift forward, shift back, all around. Breathe as you do so. And then building your foundation from the ground up. So pressing through your feet, pulling everything in. Left hip draws back, right heel presses away, ribs lengthen forward. Don't forget to breathe. And then right hand stays down, left arm reaches up for a twist. Keep the left hip pulling back. More than likely, it'll want to pull forward. So draw it back. One more inhale. And exhale, unwind. Move the blocks, plant the hands, step back to downward dog. One breath in here. Let it go. And then soften the knees to the floor. Take the big toes together, knees out wide, child's pose. So you're gonna sink the hips back to the heels, and you're gonna walk the arms forward. Head and neck, relax on the mat. Inhale, feel the ribs expand. And exhale to soften. You can stay there for a few more rounds of breath or start to make your way out of it. I recommend either a quick Shavasana on your back 
staying in child's pose for a little bit longer or a seated meditation to kind of wrap things up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for moving and breathing with me. It's an honor and a pleasure. Namaste.